Hello YouTube, welcome back to Not So Wolf for Bum. My name is Jason and this is part two of my uh, pops and other bits and pieces that I got from Canada. So uh, going to be quite a quick one this one, but I got these from Toy Traders and if you're ever in the Vancouver area, go to Toy Traders. Trust me, if you collect pops, you, you're going to find something you want because it, it's just incredible in there. Yeah, um, they do have a lot of Volvi Pops. I was going to get one, and then I saw the price, and I thought, nah, not on this occasion, that's a little bit OTT. But anyway, I got a, pop, a couple from the Pop Rocks lines, and these are pretty cool. We have Bon Scott, the original singer from ACDC. They should have put ACDC on there anyway, but they didn't for whatever reason, I don't know why. And Robert Smith, the lead singer from The Cure. Now, this one, I didn't even know exists because I'd seen the metallic one and they said they were going to release this. And there's some knots that said, oh, no, no, we're not, we're not doing it anymore. Right? But lo and behold, I got it. Um, yes, I know it says Hot Topic exclusive, but I did get it from um, Toy Traders, as I said. So, this is really rather cool. I'm going to dig him out. Uh, the Cure are... A really, really good band, and you know, everyone says they're goth um, and what have you, and yes, they are. But I just found their music really, really cool. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't. It, some of it's a bit sort of like dark, depressing, and stuff, which you expect from goth music. But uh, some of it was kind of contrasting because it was almost upbeat in a way. It's really weird, but they they did a really good job of it. Um, I don't have any albums, and I really ought to get some. Really ought to get some. Um, actually, that's a small lie, because I did get the mixed up CD a while back. Um, but yeah, I've not got any proper studio albums, and I really ought to, because uh, I love all the singles. So chances are I'm probably going to like the albums as well. Anyway, there's Rob. So he's got his black sort of mop top haircut. Got his lipstick on, his dark eye shadow. Oh, he's dressed in black with his basically trademark black jumper. Yeah. Very, very cool. There is um, a five pack of the band. Um, but really, it's too big for my collection. And I, Robert Smith was always the main one that stood out. I don't really know the other guys at all, I'm afraid. And, you know, uh, sorry to fans of The Cure, but I just, it was no, not uh, something I picked up on. I just, like, it's Robert Smith, he's the figure, he's the guy that's singing, yeah. All the musicians, you know, the rest of the band uh, members are great. You know, they, 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 as I said, they've done some magnificent music, but I just never picked up on their names or who they were, or what they looked like. Just never did. Anyway, that is Rob, or Robert Smith, I should say. Right. He is looking a bit old now, though, and he looks a little bit, little bit silly with his gap on. But then it's his trademark, you know. He's not gonna, he's not gonna wear anything else, is he? That's what you expect him to wear. What he wears outside of gigs, I've no idea. He might be quite ordinary, but you know, at gigs and, and for his videos and all the rest of it, yeah, he's always dressed like that. Anyway, let's get Bon Scott out and the original. Lead singer who tragically passed away later with a role filled by um, Brian Johnson. Uh, yep. So not really much to talk about, but he's pretty cool, I think. So there he is with his uh, microphone stand. And he's a damn good singer. Yeah. yeah and, and, you know, some people have divided count when it comes to ACDC. Right? Yeah, okay. Brian's been there, there longer, really, now. Um... But he was the original singer and he was damn good. So yeah, I'm really pleased to get that one. There we go. And uh, yeah, that's it for that video. So nice and short. Um, let me know what's your favourite. I think they're both cool. They certainly fit in with my Pop Rocks collection very, very well. Um, 
I have got a couple of others I want to get. Uh, you may have seen as well, I got Lenny Kravitz a little while back. So that was cool. Uh, I think the main one I'm now is possibly an Aussie. And although not a massive fan, I do respect what they did for music. I may get Eddie Van Halen. So, um, yeah, if he's like, going for a decent price. Anyway, yeah, let me know what you think. And is there any pop rocks, um, you know, any, any singers or bands that you think, yeah, they should make those? I'd like to hear your thoughts on that, please, because, um, you know, I, I I definitely would like to see... Uh, it, have to, it could be both, it could be one or the other, right? Uh, but either a Rage Against the Machine box set or a, um Audio Slave box set. It'll probably end up being Rage, I would imagine. But it depends on the guy's political standpoints and everything and whether they'd, they'd want to have them done. Um, you know, it'd certainly be nice to have a Chris Call now. I know he was more probably known with Soundgarden, but they did do three albums together as Audio Slave. But, and I... I personally think they were a better band but yeah anyway you let me know what you think what figures you'd like to see because that'd be interesting to hear yeah and who knows maybe one day they might get made or if not maybe we can find someone that does custom pops and get them made for us i know some bands are never going to get released as pops so that that'd be really really cool to get them made anyway i'm going to shut up now and leave it there but yeah relatively short video to everyone you know Keep coming back. More content on the way very, very soon. And until then, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.